Other possibilities are then directed towards more sophisticated attacks. So at, at the point when we and other OS vendors implemented this non-executable stack scenario, the attackers went on to implement different attack policies. So one possibility is we have the stack again, we have the return address again, and the buffer overflow is rewriting the return address and the return address is not chosen to be inside the cache area but it's that pointing to some other piece of code in the system itself. A famous example is to code inside the C library. In this situation the attacker can still choose the point at which the program will continue instead of the, of the original point uh, recorded in the return address if we return uh, to a point in, in an arbitrary piece of system uh, code which is available at the time and therefore uh, change the semantics of the program. And it can again do various pieces of uh, work which the attacker might choose to do and which might compromise the system com more completely in future. The defense we have taken against this is that we are adding before the return address and certain other values something called a canary just like the canary in the coal mine, this is used to detect when something is wrong. The runtime is simply not using the return address if the canary value is not correct anymore. So in this situation is the actual code generated for a function will say every time before it starts using the return address, it will uh, check the canary value against the expected value and the canary value is a big random number a 32-bit value on 30-bit machines and even a 64-bit value on 64-bit machines so the probability that an attacker can uh, guess the correct value with this overflow which has to touch the canary in addition to the uh, return address the probability that the attacker gets this number right is 1 to 2 raised to the power of 32 or 64 against, which is a pretty un unlikely event that this happens correctly. So GCC has a feature uh, where it can uh, implement this, uh, uh, install this canary completely aut uh, automatic. So there's just the flag one has to provide to, to the compiler to tell it to insert this uh, canary and everything else is taken care of by the compiler and by the runtime. There's, uh, there's almost no uh, overhead. These additional value and insertions of the value and the testing are almost free. They, they don't cost almost nothing. So the performance impact of everything is, is almost nil. And therefore, there's really no reason to not use this functionality ever. And this, because of this, an entire RHEL and Fedora products are compiled with these options all the time. We are never turning them off, and which means that these type of attacks in a very, very unlikely case it will succeed.